Who would like to declare God's favor over their life? Miss V would. Would you accept this challenge with me? This is a 31 day challenge to cover your life in God's favor. Let's begin. Day one, I declare God's incredible blessing over my life. I will see an explosion of God's goodness, a sudden widespread increase. I will experience the surpassing greatness of God's love. It will elevate me to a level higher than I ever dreamed of. Explosive blessings are coming my way. This is my declaration. Day two, I declare I will experience God's faithfulness. I will not worry. I will not doubt. I will keep my trust in him, knowing that he will not fail me. I will give birth to every promise God put in my heart, and I will become everything God created me to be. This is my declaration. Day three, I declare I have the grace I need for today. I am full of power, strength, and determination. Nothing I face will be too much for me. I will overcome every obstacle outlast every challenge, and come through every difficulty better off than I was before. This is my declaration. Day four, I declare it is not too late to accomplish everything God has placed in my heart. I have not missed my window of opportunity. God has moments of favor in my future. He is preparing me right now because he is about to release a special grace to help me accomplish that dream. This is my time. This is my moment. I receive it today. This is my declaration. Day five. I declare I am grateful who God is in my life for what he's done. I will not take for granted the people, the opportunities, the favor he has blessed me with. I will look at what is right and not what is wrong. I will thank him for what I have and not complain about what I don't have. I will see each day as a gift from God. My heart will overflow with praise and gratitude for all his goodness. This is my declaration. Day six, I declare a legacy of faith over my life. I declare that I will store blessings for future generations. My life is marked by excellence and integrity because I'm making right choices and taking steps of faith Others want to follow me. God's abundance is surrounding my life today. This is my declaration. Day seven, I declare that God has a great plan for my life. He is directing my steps. And even though I may not always understand how, I know my situation is not a surprise to God. He will work out every detail to my advantage. In his perfect timing, everything will turn out right. This is my declaration. Day eight. I declare God's dream for my life is coming to pass. It will not be stopped by people, disappointments, adversities. God has solutions to every problem I will ever face already lined up. The right people and the right breaks are in my future. I will fulfill my destiny. This is my declaration. Day nine, I declare unexpected blessings are coming my way. I will move forward from barely making it to having more than enough. 
God will open up supernatural doors for me. He will speak to the right people about me. I will see Ephesians 3 and 20 exceedingly abundantly above and beyond favor and increase in my life. This is my declaration. Day 10. I declare that God will accelerate his plan for my life. As I put my trust in him, I will accomplish my dreams faster than I thought possible. It will not take years to overcome obstacles, to get out of debt, or to meet the right person. God is doing things faster than before. He will give me victory sooner than I think. He has blessings that will thrust me years ahead. This is my declaration. Day 11. I declare Ephesians 3.20 over my life. God will do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that I ask or think. Because I honor him, his blessings will chase me down and overtake me. I will be in the right place at the right time. People will go out of their way to be good to me. I am surrounded by God's favor. This is my declaration. Day 12. I declare I am special and extraordinary. I am not average. I have been custom made. I am one of a kind. Of all the things God created, what he is most proud of is me. I am his masterpiece. His most prized possession. I will keep my head held high, knowing I am a child of the Most High God, made in His very image. This is my declaration. Day 13. I declare that God is bringing about a new season of growth. I will not get stagnant and hold on to the old. I will be open to change, knowing that God has something better in front of me. New doors of opportunity, new relationships, and new levels of favor are in my future. This is my declaration. Day 14. I declare I will use my words to bless people. I will speak favor and victory over my family, friends, and loved ones. I will help call out their seeds of greatness by telling them, I am proud of you. I love you. You are amazing. You are talented. You are beautiful. You will do great things in life. This is my declaration. Day 15. I declare that I have a sound mind filled with good thoughts, not thoughts of defeat. By faith, I will able. I am anointed. I am equipped. I am empowered. My thoughts are guided by God's word every day. No obstacle can defeat me because my mind is programmed for victory. This is my declaration. Day 16. I declare that I will live as a healer. I am sensitive to the needs of those around me. I will lift the fallen, restore the broken, and encourage the discouraged. I am full of compassion and kindness. I won't just look for a miracle. I will become someone's miracle, showing God's love and mercy everywhere I go. This is my declaration. I declare I will put actions behind my faith. I will not be passive or indifferent. I will demonstrate my faith by taking bold steps to move toward what God has put in my heart. 
My faith will not be hidden. It will be seen. I know when God sees my faith, he will show up and do amazing things. This is my declaration. That was day 17. Day 18. I declare breakthroughs are coming in my life. Sudden burst of God's goodness. Not a trickle, not a stream, but a flood of God's power. A flood of healing, a flood of wisdom, a flood of favor. I am a breakthrough person and I choose to live breakthrough minded. I am expecting God to overwhelm me with his goodness and amaze me with his favor. This is my declaration. Day 19, I declare there is an anointing of ease on my life. God is going before me, making crooked places straight. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. I will not continually struggle. What used to be difficult will not be difficult anymore. God's favor and blessing on my life is lightening the load and taking the pressure off. This is my declaration. Day 20. I declare that I am calm and peaceful. I will not let people or circumstances upset me. I will rise above every difficulty, knowing that God has given me the power to remain calm. I choose to live my life happy, bloom where I am planted, and let God fight my battles. This is my declaration. Day 21. I declare God's supernatural favor over my life. What I could not make happen on my own, God will make happen for me. Supernatural opportunities, healing, restoration, and breakthroughs are coming my way. I am getting stronger, healthier, and wiser. I will discover talent that I didn't know I had, and I will accomplish God's given dream. This is my declaration. Day 22. I declare I will live victoriously I was created in the image of God. I have the DNA of a winner. I'm wearing a crown of favor. Royal blood flows through my veins. I am the head, never the tail. Above, never beneath. I will live with purpose, passion, and praise, knowing that I was destined to live in victory. This is my declaration. Day 23. I declare I am a people builder. I will look for opportunities to encourage others to bring out the best in them and to help them accomplish their dreams. I will speak words of faith and victory, affirming them, approving them, letting them know they are valued. I will call out their seeds of greatness, helping them to rise higher and become all that God created them to be. This is my declaration. Day 24. I declare I will speak only positive words of faith and victory over myself, my family, and my future. I will not use my words to describe my situation. 
I will use my words to change my situation. I will call in favor, good breaks, healing and restoration. I will not talk to God about how big my problems are. I will talk to my problems about how big my God is. This is my declaration. Day 25. I declare I will not just survive. I will thrive. I will prosper despite every difficulty that may come my way. I know that every setback is a setup for a comeback. I will not get stagnant, give up on my dreams, or settle where I am. I know one touch of God's favor can change everything. I'm ready for a year of blessings and a year of thriving. This is my declaration. Day 26. I declare I will choose faith over fear. I will meditate on what is positive and what is good about my situation. I will use my energy not to worry, but to believe. Fear has no part in my life. I will not dwell on negative, discouraging thoughts. My mind is set on what God says about me. I know his plan for me is for success, victory, and abundance. This is my declaration. Day 27. I declare I am equipped for every good work God has planned for me. I am anointed and empowered by the creator of the universe. Every bondage, every limitation is being broken off of me. This is my time to shine. I will rise higher, overcome every obstacle, and experience every victory like never before. This is my declaration. Day 28. I declare that I will ask God for big things in my life. I will pray bold prayers and expect big and believe big. I will ask God to bring to pass those hidden dreams that are deep in my heart. If certain promises don't look like they will happen, I will not be intimidated and give up. I will pray with boldness, expecting God to show himself strong, knowing that nothing is too difficult for him. This is my declaration. Day 29, I declare God is working all things together for my good. He has a master plan for my life. There are many things I don't understand right now, but I'm not worried. I know all the pieces aren't here yet. One day it will all come together and everything will make sense. I will see God's amazing plan taking me places I never dreamed of. This is my declaration. Day 30. I declare God is going before me, making crooked places straight. He has already lined up the right people, the right opportunities, and solutions to problems I haven't had. No person, no sickness, no disappointment can stop his plan. What he promised will come to pass. This is my declaration. Day 31. I declare everything that doesn't line up with God's vision for my life is subject to change. Sickness, trouble, lack, Mediocrity are not permanent. They are only temporary. It, I will not be moved by what I see, by what I know. I am a victor and never a victim. I will become all God has created me to be. This is my 
declaration. May God's favor continue to bless you and your families in the name of Jesus. I pray for all of you that have witnessed this prayer. Let this be your declaration. Let this be your challenge. I believe in you. I love you with the love of the Lord. May God bless you. Peace and love.